It's super easy to stream Bluetooth audio from just about any app on your connected phone over to the FHX 731BT. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may or may not have a CD slot across the top like this one, the on-screen and button operation is identical for the following Pioneer models. FHX 730BS FHX 731BT FHX 830BHS and MVHX 690BS But before we get started with this, let's take a moment and check a setting on the head unit to be sure we're all set, set up and ready to go. Uh, the first thing is, I want to make sure that my phone is connected through Bluetooth, and I can see the Bluetooth logos on the screen here. And if I touch my telephone button, I can see that the Nexus 5 is connected. That's this phone here. The other thing that I want to check is uh, into the, under the Bluetooth menu. So uh, touch in on the volume control, and let's roll along to the system menu here. And we want to make sure that Bluetooth audio is on. And that means the Bluetooth audio will show up in our source list. Now I can switch Bluetooth audio off here if I don't use Bluetooth audio, but that means when I touch the source button, I won't see Bluetooth audio as an option. So we want to make sure that we have Bluetooth audio switched on, and that's pretty much all we need to do. We're all ready to go now. I'm going to go to my phone. I'm going to choose an app on my phone. And I'm going to switch to the Bluetooth audio source. The Nexus 5 will be playing back, and you can see that we've tuned in a radio station on this particular app, and it's playing back through the head unit right now. Now, depending upon the app, I might have simple controls over the app, like a play and pause function on button number 4, and I may be able to skip back and forth between songs with the arrow keys, but that is completely dependent upon the app. 